Well, I started um, when I was um, 21. Um, I started uh, being interested in textiles and I um, actually lived with a Bedouin in Sinai and I learned a lot of their um, crafts, their beading and their embroidery and weaving and stuff like that. So I got really deeply into textiles and um, later after I got married I moved to Michigan for 10 years and I went to textile school. I did a, in the university there I did an art program um, and I had a fully functioning weaving studio. I was spinning and weaving all different techniques from all over the world and I sold a lot of my tapestries and I painted on silk and did felt and um, anything to do with threads and materials, fabrics, you know. I was obsessed with fabric printing and all that kind of stuff. And um, to bought actually, the first one that I did was mine. When I uh, got married, when I decided to get married, I knew that we needed a ktuba, and I decided to paint my own. So I kind of looked in ktuba books and in all kinds of art galleries uh, to see what people did, you know, and I did my own ktuba, and that was the first one. After that, I put it aside and I haven't done anything with it for uh, a few years. And um, while I was having a fully functioning weaving studio, I was started to paint on silk. And uh, I made chupot and uh, khala covers and all kinds of things like that, Judaica ba basically, mainly. And then I said, okay, now I'm painting on silk, why would I try to paint on paper? <laughs> You know, I was, I was always uh, obsessed with little details in whichever medium, medium I worked with, you know. I really liked the way that little details come together in one harmonic, exaggerated, beautiful, you know, thing. And I did the same with my weaving, you know, I would work with like 3,000 threads and make like the most intricate design, little designs, you know, and weave with embroidery floss and then when I moved into painting, my um, tendency right away went into that. I'm always also um, very passionate about all kinds of geometrical designs, you know. And uh, you know, started painting the Tubot and all the other Judaica, and slowly, slowly, it became more and more detailed, you know, with the years. And um, really, I didn't know where it comes from, you know. And I remember one time I was in a show in America, and this guy wearing jalabia and a tarbush comes to me. He looks at me and he says, you know, your art, this is Moroccan art. And I'm like, what do you mean, Papi Tom? Because I didn't know, I really didn't know. And then he told me that, you know, he's Moroccan, and, you know, this is definitely looks like Moroccan art, which, you know, my parents are Moroccan. But he didn't see much of Moroccan art, you know. So it really comes from um, some, you know, bloodline that is deeper and more, you know, more than I can really understand, you know, where it comes from. But this now that I've been to Morocco for the first time in my life, you know, and I could see that my art and my choices and my decorations and everything is just so Moroccan. Wow, one of the most meaningful things that I did in my life, for sure, it made me understand totally all my passions and all the, you know, the fire that leads my life, where it comes from. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of understandings about my choices in life and about what moves me, about my passions. And yeah, I'm way more Moroccan than I knew. <laughs> you know, it's my ideal everything. The sense of beauty there is just so overwhelming, you know. They're really obsessed with beauty and they're so good in all the traditional crafts and the, you know, from uh, everything, everything, from weaving to spinning to embroidery to, um, you know, wood carving to glass to mosaic to, architecture, mud building, everything, and everything is done in such a beauty, you know, you sit in um, little homes of people and it's just like you feel like a queen because everything is just so beautiful, so much attention to beauty. 
it's uh, <coughs> yeah, you know, I remember the days when um, you know when I lived in Michigan, when almost everyone I didn't print then even everyone that wanted Ktuba came to me, and we were sitting together and designing the Ktuba and you know I was getting to know the couple, and it was a very, very personal personal process, you know. Now, of course, it's different. Um, first of all, the prints are such good qualities, you know. <laughs> and I always try to make a point, you know, before I mail it to, to at least put my hands on it, say a blessing, say a little prayer for the couple, you know. It's important I'm making the Ktuba, you know. Um, so I try to keep that connection, to try to keep the, the meaningful thing that it is with, you know, in, in my consciousness while I do it, so. But uh, yeah, I don't see any paint for them, so. Send them a little prayer, <laughs> a little blessing. <laughs>